we've been learning about butterflies. If we were at school, we would make a poster all together about all the things that we've learned. Since we're not at school, I'm just going to make my poster today without you guys, but I'm going to share it with you guys so you guys can do it, can use it to write your um, papers about butterflies, okay? So at the top, I wrote butterflies, and then I just drew a picture of a butterfly. Next, I'm going to label it with the different parts of the butterfly. On Tuesday, I believe it was, I posted a video about butterflies, and it talked a little bit about the life cycle, but it told you a little bit more details about the butterfly. If you watch that video, then it kind of told you about the different parts of the butterfly. So we're going to go ahead today and label that part, those parts of the butterfly. When I look at my butterfly, the first thing that I notice are the wings, right? They have wings. Do you know how many wings they have? Four. It's not two, it's four, okay? So they have two on each side. It kind of looks like this is one wing and this is one wing, but they're actually separate. There's four wings, okay? Wing is has ing in it, right? Do you remember when we learned about ing? How do we spell ing? I-N-G, right? And to make it wing, we just need to add the letter W. So, W-I-N-G. Do they just have one wing? They have four. So wings, what do we have to add at the end? S. Okay, so they have wings on that side and on this side, okay? Something else that they have are these things on top of their heads. Do you know what those are called? They're called antenna. Can you say antenna? Okay, good. Antenna. Antenna. Okay, so those are those things on their head. Then they have a head right here. Okay. And then well, I drew this kind of silly straw looking thing. Do you remember what they use that for? The butterfly uses it to drink stuff out of the flowers, right? In that video, it said that butterflies don't eat, right? They only drink liquids. Liquids is another word for like water or like milk, things that you can drink. So they only drink liquids. So they have a mouth that's kind of like a straw so that they can just suck out the liquid from the flowers. It has a really fancy name. It's called a proboscis, okay? I'm going to write that on my poster. I don't expect you guys to know what that word is or to remember it or to write it on your paper. I just want you guys to hear it and so that you know that it's called a proboscis, okay? So this is how you spell P-R-O-B-O-S-C-I-T-S, -S -S. okay? It's a big, long word. Next, they have this part of their body right here. That's called a thorax. Can you say thorax? What does thorax start with? T-H. And then we learn about or. What two letters say or? O R. Thor a. Thorax. X at the end. Okay. So that middle part of their body is called the thorax, and then down here, this part of their body is called the abdomen. Can you say abdomen? Good. Then, out of the thorax, they have six legs, right? When they're flying around, they have wings, but when they land on the flower, they have to have their legs to help them stand up. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Leg. You guys can spell that, right? Leg. Um, all right, right here. And just like for wings, right, there's more than one leg, so we have to add the letter S. Legs. Okay, they have six legs, okay? And then they have eyes too, but that's pretty much all the parts of the butterfly. In all the videos that we've been watching, right, we've learned that the butterfly, when it's born, it doesn't look like a butterfly. What does it come out of? Come out as? As a caterpillar, right? It comes out of the egg and it's a caterpillar. But do all animals come out of eggs? No, right? Like do cats and dogs come out of eggs? No, but like birds come out of eggs, right? And we learned about um, frogs, when they are born, they come out of an egg too. Just like, just like butterflies, when frogs are born, do they look like frogs? No, right? Butterflies are born as a caterpillar. 
So I'm going to move my picture of the butterfly up a little bit and down here at the bottom I'm going to draw the life cycle of a butterfly. I know you guys know it really good and I saw a lot of you guys drew pictures for me of what the life cycle looks like. So that's going to help me to draw my pictures now. I'm going to move this up. Okay, I hope it doesn't fall on me. I'm going to draw the life cycle of the butterfly. It starts out like an egg, right? That video I showed you guys, the eggs were like green. So I'm going to use green right here, okay? So. Okay. Alright, we'll start here. We'll draw some eggs. Okay. Egg. Okay. Next, out of the egg comes the caterpillar, right? We read the Let's Find Out. Do all the caterpillars look the same? No. Some are black and white and yellow, and some are purple and yellow, and some are green, and some are fuzzy, and some are not. So it depends on what kind of butterfly it is that what the caterpillar will look like, okay? I'm just going to draw a simple caterpillar that's green, okay? It kind of looks like a worm, right? Okay, there's my little caterpillar. Caterpillar. C -c -c Caterpillar starts with C. C -a -t -er -pillar. Okay. And then after the caterpillar, it turns into a chrysalis, right? Chrysalis. Okay. So the chrysalis hangs upside down, usually on like a, a leaf or like a stick. So I'm going to draw a stick. And then the chrysalis is going to be hanging down from it. Okay. Chrysalis, okay. C -c 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 chrysalis actually starts with CH. Chrysalis. Okay. Then out of the chrysalis comes a butterfly. Okay. A butterfly. Maybe I'll give this butterfly pink wings. Okay. B -b -b butterfly starts with a B. Butterfly. Okay. And then there's an arrow that goes to the egg. Why? Because the mommy butterfly has what? Eggs. And then out of the eggs goes the caterpillar. And then the caterpillar ha turns into a chrysalis. And then into a butterfly. And then the butterfly has eggs. And then it turns into a caterpillar. And it goes around and around like the frog life cycle, right? Good. I'm going to write life cycle up here. Let's see. Orange? No, I use orange. I don't know if this red works very good. Not too good. Life. Ooh, I need some, a new marker, okay? All right, something I learned out of that video, too, was that caterpillars, their job is to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat a lot. So they grow big. Have you guys ever read the book called The Very Hungry Caterpillar? It's about a little caterpillar, and all he does is eat and 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 eat, and eat, and eat, and eat right? What kind of things do they eat? Leaves and other kinds of plants, right? Over here by the caterpillar, I'm gonna write eats a lot, eats leaves, okay, and then its job is to grow and grow and grow. Grows big, okay. Then it turns into a chrysalis, right? And then in the chrysalis. The caterpillar is turning into a butterfly. Okay. So it's growing its wings, right? And it's turning into a butterfly. 
then out comes the butterfly. Okay. And what did I tell you about the butterfly's like straw mouth? What does the butterfly eat? Liquids, right? It only drinks liquids. So I'm going over here. I'm going to put eats and drinks liquids. Okay. Eats and drinks liquids, okay? And then it, it can fly now, right? Can fly, okay? And can the caterpillar fly? No, right? All right, so those are some things that we learned about butterflies. Now we're going to write some sentences.